Good morning, prayer partners. We continue with our Bible plan, The Hospitable Leader. Please go and read our scripture readings found in Galatians chapter 3, verses 28 through 29, and Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. The devotional reads, Though hospitality doesn't frequently invoke ideas of radical revolution, the hospitable leader encourages an expanded view of hospitality that isn't just, quote, niceness, unquote, but a revolutionary catalyst. As most of us would agree, and as the book says, our world needs revolutionary change. Scripture certainly lines up with this concept. In today's reading, we find one of the most hospitable and the most radical things said in the ancient world as the Apostle Paul argues that membership in the family of God diminishes the typical boundaries between people groups. A central component of the first central worldview was distinguishing factors between groups of people, whether that be based on gender, social economic class, race, or otherwise. For the Jewish culture of the time, which Paul is writing in response to, only those who followed the Jewish practices or those who were born of Jewish heritage or lineage were allowed into the promise of God. This promise or covenant was established with Abraham in Genesis where God told him, Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 through 3 ESV, and I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and he who dishonors you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Similarly, there are two major points in this covenant. Abraham's family will be blessed, the Jews, and God will bless the world through Abraham's family. This is the the fundamental covenant behind the entire Old Testament as God works out his plan for the world through the Jewish people. Throughout the Old Testament scripture, God shows that he wants the Jewish people to bring non-Jews into the plan of God so that he can bless them. However, The Jews didn't quite execute this plan and were largely exclusionary. So, God had to do something to bring non-Jews into the blessing. And Jesus was the central figure in that plan. Christ led everyone in the plan. Everyone could inherit the blessing of Abraham, which still exists to this day in the people who follow Jesus. This includes people who are social outcasts, like the slaves, women, and Gentiles. And this perhaps the most hospitable act anyone had ever seen. This was perhaps the most hospitable act anyone had ever seen. Think about it like this Paul in Galatians is saying that now anyone has access to the inheritance of the father. They could be heirs. In that time, only the oldest son was allowed an inheritance. So this concept would have been overwhelmingly hospitable. Not only is the oldest son allowed the inheritance, but anyone else who followed and believed Christ entering into the covenant would receive the blessing of God. This is one of the most extraordinary signs of how hospitality brings radical results. 
Hospitality isn't a soft concept. It is a radical concept. By bringing people who are always left out or by welcoming those who have never felt welcome, we can instigate a movement that will change in an inhospitable world. Oh, wonderful Heavenly Father. Father Abraham had many sons and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. So we're going to praise the Lord and thank you, Holy Spirit, for the invitation that we have in an inhospitable world that we are accepted by the hospitality of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day, prayer partners, and as always, enjoy Jesus.